Hey you guys, enter the stars and we have another clue. I did a search on Easter Island and Neptune and lo and behold, we have the 100 year anniversary of the Easter Island archeological expedition, the first archeological expedition. And on page 33 from Karen Rutledge, she mentions Neptune in a very cryptic passage here. Now this is the only place in her book where she mentions Neptune. This is in The Mystery of Easter Island written by Karen Rutledge. And this is the passing of the equator. Now as they pass the equator it says in glorious weather about 9 p.m. on Monday June 9th none of the forecastle had been had been over before. Now, forecastle is a fortified portion of the ship that houses the crew. So, what she's in effect saying here is that none of them had been past the equator before, and Father Neptune did not feel equal to visiting them. So, basically, they were not worthy of Father Neptune, but some addition to the fare was appreciated. So, she appreciated the fact that they were help, helping to finance. Uh, this trip but they were not worthy of Neptune she says I was the doyen of the party a doyen is the foremost expert with now seven crossings to her credit now this is very cryptic it appears on page 33 that is no accident and as I sh as I showed you her book came up without even a search for her specific book just doing a search on Easter Island and Neptune. Now, Neptune has the first three letters of Nephilim. And the more research we do, the more I'm beginning to believe that Neptune is the god or one of the gods of the Nephilim. We have the words nepotism that deals with lineage, family lineage. We have nephew that deals with family lineage. We have all kinds of other words that relate to NEP. And I just showed you the movie Starman, and he was from Neptune. And that movie was all about the mixing of the fallen angels or stars with the women on Earth. Anyway, you guys, take care and be safe.